This video is primarily intended for Gary with his uh, new collet set up on his um, Monarch. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little quick video on how to set up a collet closer. Now, this machine is a hardened chucker, HC, doesn't have a lead screw. Um, it's got a turret and a collet ready spindle. So, the first thing you need to do is clean out the taper. Make sure you don't have any chips or anything in there whenever you're setting this thing up. Now, I don't have power to this, so I can't really spin the, the spindle by hand. Actually, I've got it locked. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tough. So even with the brake off, it's uh, still on because it's power actuated. So the next step is select a collet. <laughs> Make sure the collet's reasonably clean. Now, this, uh, this spindle has the little uh, drive key. That's a one inch collet, I believe. And let's see. Yeah, that may not be a one inch collet. I'm not really gonna worry too much about it right now. This is, yeah. yeah it looks like the collet's a little sprung. I can't see. It's a hardened collet, so. We'll just go with it. Doesn't matter. So this is a hard inch setup tool. Uh, basically, this is cut in half so you can set your tool up on center line. And this is turned down to fit inside the bushing hole on a turning tool so you can get it set up on center line on the turret. And this one, I don't believe... Actually, yeah, this one... I believe this one is set up where the distance between this ground face and this face is also the center line of the tool so you can just set it on the dovetail bed and bring it over here and check your tool center line. I might be mistaken on that one. I know Hardinch has another style like that but anyway we're just going to use this as a one inch diameter piece of stock. Now let me uh, swing you over here my collet, or my collet closer assembly is, uh, is off the machine. I take it off when I put the chuck on there. You want to make sure you clean the draw tube so there's no chips on it. And you want to make sure that the draw tube or the spindle is clear and that the adapter is on there. I'll, I'll reposition and bring you in closer to the other side to give you a better view. Of what's going on. Okay, so there's a few things you need to know about this. So you got your draw tube, which the inside of the draw tube is threaded, and it's the same threads as on this collet here. So this screws onto the end of the collet, and that's what draws it into the spindle. This right here is a, it's an indexing ring that allows you to lock the turret down. Now this indexing ring fits on a, a key that's on the end of the spindle and it just slides on there. The reason why this is on there will be uh, obvious in a minute, or I'll explain it. Um, there's my pen. So the collet swings out of the way, or the closer. So that's locked, and then that's free. Now, this is a lock right here that locks into that indexing ring. So this can't turn. What you do is you loosen that, and you spin this to screw it down on the collet. And this is how you preset your collet. This is, this is how you set the clearance on the collet for the drawing. So this is locked right here. I'm just going to keep turning it until it gets tight. Then I'm going to loosen it up. So this is tight, but it's not set properly. It's just I have that in the locked position, and I've tightened this down until I get resistance. I'm going to bring this around, and then I'm going to check. I'm going to set it for the next tightest notch, and then I'm going to check that. You can hear it's you know it's not quite as authoritative. It's you know it shouldn't be pinky light. So I'll tighten it another two notches. Oops, there we go. See, that's still, that's authoritative, but it's still too light. So, go another few more notches. There we go. We're getting closer, it's not 
real super tight yet. There we go. So that's the way, that's the, the tightness I would prefer to have it. So this ring right here has a bearing in it. And well, actually this ring doesn't, it's just got the lock that locks onto the spindle. This spins, the draw tube spins, and then this whole assembly right here does spin, but there's a bearing between here and the, the over center mechanism in here. So when you lock it, that's, that's locked. So that's your, your call it locked, and then that's free. And you should be able to slide the material in and out of the spindle whenever it's in the free position. It shouldn't hang up too much. And whenever you set it to the lock position, it should be tight in the spindle. And whenever you stick an indicator on it, you should have a, a reasonable amount of run out or small amount of run out. So that's the other thing I want to point out is that how tight you make this can also affect how much run out you get on your stock. So if you have a collet that's not exactly on size, which is not uncommon if you're working with raw stock, um, if it, the collet's not precisely on size, if it's a little too big or a little too small, if it's too big, the collet is actually, it's going to be kind of like this on the stock. If it's too small, it's going to be like this. What you want to do is you want to actually put enough pressure on the collet that the collet flexes a little. And so it draws in and it may, it draws the collet into the spindle and it actually kind of bends it a little bit so that the collet runs parallel to the material. And if your collet's a little on the oversized side, if you put a piece of material in the spindle that is, you know, undersized for the collet and you, you, you know, tighten it up like this, you may have a bench of wobble because the collet itself is bent effectively like this instead of holding the material straight. So the way you can kind of cheat that is you can tighten this up. You know, you can tighten this up a whole bunch until, you know, that's too tight there. See, that's as tight as you could get it, really. I mean, that's you don't want it much tighter than that. It'll wear it out. But that right there, that's really tight. The other thing, too, is sometimes there's a sweet spot with a collet and a piece of material in your spindle due to wear. I mean, these aren't brand new spindles or collets, and the material certainly isn't, you know, perfectly round ground stock. So you might want to experiment with how tight the collet is to get your run out where you want it to be. So that's pretty much all there is to setting up a collet uh, closer. Um, you know, there's no real magic to it. It's just setting, unlocking it, and then rotating it until you get enough preload to where it's snug and loosen it up, go another quarter turn or half turn, and Whenever it's to your satisfaction, you set the lock and then find the detent and you're good to go. It's really quick to set up once you've done it a couple times. And then whenever you go to change your collet out, you unlock it and you just rotate it like that. You take your material out and you push your collet and there's your collet. It comes right out. So thanks for watching. Bye.